Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to create from these flat illustrations that 3D cup of tea in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're interested, then keep watching! This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design and to download an original vector file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw. My workspace is ready and my colors are already in the swatches panel. Let's take that color and pen tool and draw the shape like that. The first point, the second point will be, I think, here and the third here. To exit pen tool mode, press Escape. Now change fill to stroke and take that brush. The size will be 4. And now let's take green color, change stroke to fill, take again pen tool and draw the shape like that. Here a little longer and here like that. And now let's close the path and move that shape to back. Now let's take again brown color in the stroke and pen tool. And now draw one more shape like this, the second point. The the first point, sorry, the second point and here the third point and hold and drag to round the line. Ok, and take direct selection tool and hold and drag and round that corner. Now select that shape, that brush and the size the same for. Okay. Uh, uh, now let's draw the flower. Uh, let's take orange color in the fill and ellipse tool, hold shift and make the circle. Now take that color and ellipse tool, create the ellipse like this. Hold Alt and make the copy. Select the orange circle and bring to front. Select these two ellipses. Right click, transform, rotate here 60 degrees. OK. Copy. And now Ctrl D. OK. The flower is ready. Well, guys, now select the flower and group it and select the cup and group it. It's very important to group objects. Now we need to open the window 3D and materials. Go to window 3D and materials and voila. Now select the cup and go to objects, take revolve, now here we need right edge, here we need isometric right and you see here the hole in the center, we need to fix it, just take this corner with help of direct selection tool and move it a little like that. 
and they fix the problem it's great now let's move on select that icon and go to materials here we need uh, I think 0 0.02 let's move here the slider now your cup will be more glossy and now go to lighting and here we need to play with options uh, let's uh, change here um, that option I think 70, 71, it's okay. Okay, now here I need intensity about 74. Okay, the cup is ready. Uh, now let's uh, select that shape take that option in object uh, now we need to change here to isometric right here select that icon materials you can stay it like that or you can uh, make 0 0.02 0 okay and lighting you need to stay here the original options everything is like that okay now let's move here that shape and send it to back move a little closer to the cup now the flower select that option in object and now uh, select that icon take here isometric right and just rotate it a little as you like it more I think it's great let's move here you can make the flower a little smaller rotate a little or stay, stay like that let's move it here go to materials here I change to uh, 0.03 or 0 0.2 as you like it more and uh, let's select lighting and play with options like this and I think here and softness and intensity is 50 percent and um, shadows let's change here to 340 or a little more like that okay it's great uh, now let's select the composition move it to the center now let's take brown color and rectangle tool create the rectangle and send it to back it's the background now let's take ellipse tool draw the ellipse now we need to take 
uh, gradient we need radial gradient uh, and here I have classical white color and here I have gray color with color code this one now we need to take gradient tool and play with it like squeeze it okay now take here opacity multiply and a little play with the object make it a little bigger play with the gradient as you like more here it will be the shadow below the cup make it a little bigger rotate move here and send it and background to back okay i think we need to make it a little bigger like that move here now copy and paste the shadow make it smaller to make the shadow below the cup more contrast okay and now let's um, take white color and brush tool and draw here with help of brush the shape like that it will be the smoke okay now change here uh, stroke to fill select it go to effect blur gaussian blur and play with options okay i think like that it's pretty here opacity about 30 and um, maybe 20 yes 20 is better now let's select that shape and take liner gradient okay now we need to take here classical black color with color codes six zeros and we need to change our opacity here to screen okay and now let's play with the gradient here take gradient tool and um, let's make like this here we need the gradient like that and again take brush tool and draw some shapes like this okay now uh, change stroke to fill and change here transparency to about 48 and uh, gaussian blur make uh, more contrast okay now take that smoke hold uh, odd and make the copy right right click transform reflect vertical okay and make one more copy and here let it be transparency 30 here let's play with gradient like that okay and if you like uh, you can change here transparency to 40 and you can copy and paste that smoke to make it more contrast and now copy and paste background send it to front select the whole design and make clipping mask that's all guys hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about the graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye